Before we play our violins, we have to get our bows ready to play. When our bows are in the case, the hair should be loose. Now remember, we never touch the hair because the oil from our fingers can get on there and then it makes it not play as well. So our bows are loose, we have to get them ready. Make sure the frog is on your right. So if you're doing this along with me, your bow looks like this, opposite mirror, remember? Okay, so make sure that your frog is on your right. That means the tip is on your left. Now, with your left hand, yours is over here, with your left hand, hold on to the stick at the winding. Now mine is black, but yours might be silver. Hold on to it right there. Now, with your right hand, the adjusting screw is here. Turn it away from you. We turn it away when we're ready to play. And we're going to turn it until all the hair on the bow tightens up and comes together. And we're going to make it so that it comes away from the stick just a little bit more than it already was. We don't want them to be parallel to each other. We still want the bow to have a curve to it. We want it to be bowed. So you can see that the space between the hair and the stick right here is wider than my pinky because I'm not touching the hair. But I could not do that here and I'm not going to because I don't want to touch my bow hair. But I couldn't fit my pinky through there because it's, they're closer together in the middle. And that's how we want it. If you tighten it too much so that they're the same or even worse, wider in the middle, it's like overinflating your tires. Not that you all drive, but ask your parents. Maybe your parents are watching this. And our bow just bounces along the string without getting any grip. So we don't want that. Now, our bows are tightened up just right. We haven't over tightened them. Now it's time to get our rosin. So have your rosin right near you, ready. Again, holding the stick by the winding, get your really good bow hand. Fingers curved, pinky standing up, thumb has a bump. Now pick up your rosin that's right by you. Holding it in your left hand, set it down at the very bottom, and you're gonna hold the rosin still because we're gonna use this to practice our bow hands. And I want you to do a little bit and back. Then I want you to go all the way to the tip. Still got your bow hand over there? Hmm? Okay. Then I want you to go a little bit and back. Now we're just gonna go back and forth. You have to steer. It's not easy to keep it right on that rosin, is it? Okay, make sure you still have your bow hand. This is great practice. Now I'm ready to play. When I'm finished playing, I'm gonna loosen my bow. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Holding your bow the same way that you did before with your frog on the right. So if you're doing it with me, remember yours is over here and your left hand holding onto the winding, take the adjusting screw and turn it towards you because you are through. I'm gonna turn it until all the hairs are loose and floppy. I'm not gonna turn it too much because then this could come out and my bow would fall apart. Oh my gosh, you do not want that, no. So just enough so the hairs are loose and floppy and then I'll put it safely away in my case until I play again. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.